<laughs> I'm so glad you said it's a great day for it. Yes, certainly also a great chance to explore new parts of the triad with your pup. There are plenty of dog walkers ready to help out, but it's important to pick the right one. So now it's time to welcome our next live guest, Michelle Klein, joining us. She's the owner of Venture Dog Walking in Winston-Salem. Michelle, good morning to you. Good morning. Thanks for being here. So let's first talk about how folks can make sure that they're picking the right dog walker for not only them, but also their dog. Yeah, absolutely. So when you're looking at bringing in a dog walker, using a company, you're really going to want to look for three main things to begin with. First thing, you're going to want to make sure they're insured. This really important um, kind of a baseline, you need to be working with an insured company. We're working with a lot of animals, so we want to make sure that you're working with a company that's taken that step. The second thing a company, or you're going to want to look for in a company, is that they're using employees instead of contractors. When a company is using employees, you can have a higher level of certainty that they're training their people, they're providing equipment, they're really looking at that really high level of detail and standard for the service they're providing. And then the third thing you want to make sure when you're looking for a company is that the company has taken the time to really think through their policies and procedures. What do they do if somebody calls out? Um, who's taking care of your pet then? How are they documenting exactly what needs to be done? So taking the time to ask these questions on the front end can give you a lot of information. And then that was, you know, the specific dog walker. Um, how does that kind of, when you complete those three tips, is it kind of just goes hand in hand to making sure that the walker is a right fit for the dog? Or how would you say that that lines up with the process? Yeah, so taking these steps on the front end um, is really helpful because then you get to the fun part where it's like, is this a fit? Does this person jive with my dog? Yes. Are the services in line with exactly what I need? Um, so once you have all your bases covered, it is more about, do I have a genuine connection with this person and do they have a connection with my animal? And the great thing about going with a professional company is they've done a lot of that work on the front end for you. So they're sending in people who are a great fit already. And then do you have recommendations of ways that, you know, people can weed out the dog walkers that might not be the right fit? Yeah, so taking those three steps I talked about on the front end will naturally weed out a lot of them. Okay. Past that, um, people should feel really comfortable interviewing the dog walkers they're considering using even multiple companies at one time. Um, we really encourage our clients to do that because we want to make sure that we've really, that we are the right fit for what they need. Um, and sometimes in other companies, you know, we just want to make sure that there's that rapport and that relationship. So we encourage people to do that on the front end to really look for what they want. And then talk about some of the favorite places um, to walk our dogs in Winston-Salem and the Triad. Explain these pet adventures, is that what you call them? <laughs> yeah, um, so one of our specialty services is we offer pet adventures. We do both dog park trips and off-site hikes where we pick up your dog and take them on a 90-minute adventure, wow. bring them home nice and tired. It's very cute, a lot of fun. Um, we always defer to a client's preference if they have one, but if they don't care, we get to pick. Um, some of our favorite places to go, we love to take clients over to Renolda Gardens to do the trails. Oh, yeah. um, that's a really great shaded, not too crowded walk. Um, you know, so we're able to keep a lot of distance from other dogs and get some good exercise in, which is really important. Um, and then past that, you know, Tanglewood is a wonderful option, Salem Lake, Muddy Creek, just taking advantage of all of these really awesome outdoor areas that Winston-Salem offers. Yes, there are so many. Michelle, it's been great to have you on our show. Thank you so much for your time. And folks at home, if you missed any of this helpful information, you can always find out more about all the dog walking, adventure trips, and other tips Michelle and her team provide. You can visit the website on your screen, VentureDogWalking.com.